Hello, and welcome to another Code Kata. Today we're going to be walking through the bowling game Kata once again, but to change things up a little bit, I've decided to write this in Java instead of C Sharp. So you see I have the Eclipse IDE open here, and I haven't written any Java code in probably going on 15 years, so this should be pretty interesting. So the first thing I've done in Eclipse here is created the empty Java file for bowling game and then for tests I just want to make sure that the test runner works so I have this assert that should always be true and the test runner does work so we can start with the kata so the first thing we want to do is make sure we can create a game so let's do that let's see if I remember my Java conventions here there's no var keyword, right? I'll just have to explicitly declare it. Of course, it's going to fail because the class is not defined, so let's define that. And then we'll have to import that package. and see if this test passes. And it does, so we can create a game. Great, so let's move on to the first real test. And we want to, let's see, we want to roll in a loop again. Uh, what was it? I think it's a certain equals. I think that's what we have to do here. And of course this is going to tell us that we need to implement these methods. So let's go ahead and do that. and check out that test. All right, that works. We are green, we'll go to refactor. Refactoring tells us we don't need this first test anymore. Go back to running tests. We're good. Let's start on our next test. And the score should be 20. And this test should, of course, fail. We can easily fix that. Alright, tests pass. Now we know the next one is to roll a spare, but we also know from the previous runs that we're going to have to back that out and do some refactoring here. So while we're green, let's do that refactoring. Uh, well, before we get to that, first let's create our, oh, let's refactor these tests a little bit. 
Uh, getting ahead of myself here. I got to slow down. Let's see if that still passes, and it does. I think I want to have pins first here. times. And here we want to roll 1 20 times. See if the tests still pass, and they do. All right, now let's do that refactoring. A little bit preemptive, but we know we're going to have to in the next test anyway, so we can go a little faster here. That refactoring is that we don't want to store the score. We want to store the rolls because right now roll is actually calculating the score which isn't really what the name implies and get score well, it's getting the score but this implies that it should should be calculating it here so let's do a little refactoring see if I remember array declaration from Java And we want to, I guess, push rolls onto this. Uh, well, it's already been initialized, so we're not really, it's not a stack. Let's just treat it as a array. And then here, well, we're going to return something different here. You know what? Before we do that, let's just make sure we're still sane, haven't broken anything, oh, we're still good. All right, so let's return this new thing, which is going to be that loop through the frames that we did before. Again, we're going to jump ahead, but that's because we've practiced this before. So, score is zero, roll index is zero, and now we want to loop through the frames. And we want to say score plus equals rolls of roll index plus rolls roll index plus one. So what we're doing here is instead of looping through each roll because we know that uh, the next feature we're going to be implementing is going to require us to loop through frames. We're just going to preemptively do that now. Might be a little bit against test-driven development, but we the, the refactoring still works. In fact, we could refactor this to loop through whatever we want, and as long as the tests still pass, then we're still good. So we can get rid of this score. Run the tests again, and now we can move on. Let's go to our next test. And roll a spare. Oh, wait, you know what? I missed that. Missed some refactoring there, but we've already moved on, so we'll get to it in a bit. And roll five. 
five again. Three. Now we want to roll zero 17 times. The score should be 16. Now this test will fail. One failure, expected 16 was 13. So now we know we need to account for that. So for any given frame, if If this equals 10, then it's a spare. And the spare gets a special score. Let's run that test again. All right, we're back to green. So we can do a little bit of refactoring here. We forgot to pull these out. That refactor still works. And now what can we refactor in here? We got some uh, got some nesting here. Probably can pull out a level of abstraction. So let's pull this out. Wonder if the eclipse refactoring tools can help us here haven't used this before. Well, quite a few more options here. Extract method. And let's, yeah, it's a private method. And let's call it, uh, let's just keep it simple. Call it is spare. And then we're going to do another one here. Just to keep the pattern going, we'll call this one get standard score. All right. So now this reads a little more clearly in our loop. It's just if it's a spare, get a spare score, else get a standard score. And we've got our refactored methods down here. Well, that's interesting. Is spare is get. Huh. I guess Eclipse was smart enough to identify that that repeated code there. Although it didn't identify it there, but honestly, I don't want to rely on that. I don't want to couple these methods. Maybe someday we can, but I don't want to couple these right now. Let's try our tests. Alright, tests still pass. Let's keep going. This time we only roll 16 more times because the first frame had only one roll. And we assert that the score will be 24. Because it's the strike plus the next two and then the next frame. So 10 plus 7 is the first frame, 7 is the second frame. Should add up to 24. This should of course fail. Expected 24 was 17, so we can put in our additional logic here. You know what? I'm going to jump ahead a little bit on the refactor. No, I'm not going to jump ahead on the refactor this time. I'll rely on the tools in a bit. So, if this equals 10, And score plus equals all of that because it's the first frame and then the next two rolls. And 
We also want to only increment the roll index by one, which means we want to pull this out of here and put it into these. Now let's test that. That's good. Let's do our refactoring. Stick with the same pattern. Get spare score was also automatically refactored. I appreciate the intelligence that Eclipse puts into this, but I don't want that to be done for me just yet. All right, so the logic looks pretty straightforward. If it's a strike, get the strike score. If it's a spare, get the spare score, else standard score. And let's reorder these a little bit. Is strike is spare, get strike, get spare, get standard scores. That all works pretty well. Tests pass. Let's put in our last test. We want to roll a 10, 12 times. The score should be 300. Run that test, and all tests pass. Don't see any additional refactoring we need to do. Looks very similar to the solution we came up with in C Sharp. So that's it for the bowling game Kata in Java. Maybe next time I'll try yet another language, maybe one I haven't even written anything before at all. And that's it for the bowling game. Thanks for watching.